Today we're going to be making some paint with water Valentine's cards using Cricut's watercolor markers and I can't wait to make this project with you. If you're new here, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Let's go jump on to Cricut Design Space and get this project started. I've created this template in Design Space so that we have some flaps here at the bottom that our paintbrush will go through. Now you don't have to create this design yourself. I have saved this to Cricut Design Space so that it's accessible for everyone and I will have the link for this project listed in the description of this video so all you have to do is click on that link and it will open up Design Space and you'll have the same template on your screen as I do right now. And then you can go ahead and customize this template, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. So we are going to make these very cute paint with water cards for Valentine's Day. So let's insert some text. So I'm going to select the text and type out Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm going to go up to the top and change the font. I'm going to use a system font that I have uploaded called Balloon Bash. This font I got from Font Bundles and if you're interested in it, I will leave it linked down below in the description. And if you don't know how to upload external fonts to Cricut Design Space, I do have a video on that so I'll leave that link down below as well. Now I'm just going to move a few things over here on my screen so I can see them better. And we're going to line our text up on our card. We are going to be having our Cricut machine draw out these letters, not cut them out. So we are going to change the operation of our text here. So up at the top to operation, we're going to change that to pen. And then we're going to select the little color swatch box next to it and go to the drop down menu and select marker one millimeter. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see Cricut's watercolor markers. And since it's Valentine's Day, let's go ahead and do this in red. So when a child receives their Valentine card, they're going to be able to pick up a paintbrush, dip it in some water, and be able to spread our watercolor marker around and create a little watercolor painting. One thing you'll notice is that when you change your font to a pen operation rather than a cut file, Cricut Design Space outlines each of those letters. You no longer have a solid line for a letter, but that's okay because that's exactly what we want. The more white space, the better, because the child is going to be able to come in and paint it just like a paint with water coloring book. Now there's not a whole lot of white space between these letters for this font. Every font is going to be slightly different. So if you want a little more white space and you want your font to be a little thicker, we can do that. We simply just need to create an offset. So if we go up to the top and click on offset, you'll notice a blue line going around all our text. We don't want our offset to be this big. So grab that little circle dot and you're going to drag that over closer to that center line there until it's really small. And you'll notice your blue lines coming in closer and closer to the text. Or you can manually do that and type in uh, let's try point zero four, and then we're going to click on apply. So now we have an extra layer here. We have our first happy Valentine's Day. And I just realized I forgot to put an apostrophe in Valentine, so we can change that. And I'll create a new offset in just a second. So if you look closely at our offset layer here, some of the letters are running into each other. You may want that, you may not want that. So we could go back in and make the offset a little smaller. So let's keep our original layer here that I added my apostrophe to. And let's go back to offset. And instead of 0 0.04, let's do 0 0.03 and click on apply. And we're going to get rid of our old offset layer here. And here is our new layer here. And the letters don't run into each other quite as much as before. But I do need to shrink this down a little bit because it's kind of hitting the edges of my card. So let's do that. So I'm happy with my text now. I'm going to delete this original layer. And let's add some hearts to this card as well. So just go over to the left hand side and click on shapes and we can select the heart. And 
and we can put a few of them on here. You can drag them, make them smaller. You can turn your hearts and put them wherever you want. To go a little faster, you can go up to the top right and duplicate your hearts a few times and then just place them wherever you want on your card. You can also keep them all the same size or you can make some bigger and some smaller. Now our hearts are automatically set as a basic cut so we will need to change the operation of all these to pen. So once again we're going to select that pen, click on that color swatch and go to the drop down menu, select marker, go all the way down to the bottom and then choose your watercolor marker that you want to use. So for this one I'm going to do a purple and maybe this one over here, we can change this to a different color. Let's do green. And just go ahead and do that to all your hearts. And I'm also going to change the pen color of this offset layer. Right now it's set to black. So let's go ahead and change that to red. So our card is looking really cute. You can make a few adjustments if you want. You can put anything you want on this card. Just keep in mind that you kind of want it like a coloring book style so that there is space to go in between with the paintbrush and make a painting. You'll notice I do have a second cut layer behind this white card. We got a red card right here. This is just so we have a background that we can put our card on. You don't have to cut this piece out if you don't want to, but it does give your card a nice finished look. So before we continue, we need to attach all our pieces together. So we've got our background, our white card here. We've got all our text and all our hearts are on a different layer. And then we've got our little paintbrush holder here at the bottom. I have created score lines here and little cross cut lines so that you can slide your paintbrush through this card. So before we go ahead and make this, we need to select all these layers here, not the red layer, just all the other ones, and then go down to the bottom right and click on attach. And then you can go ahead and click make it. We will be doing this on the mat today, confirm. You can press continue, and we're going to be loading our mat with medium cardstock. And design space here is giving us the instructions we need we need to load our red watercolor marker into clamp A and we will be putting our single scoring wheel into clamp B. Now, if you do not have a Cricut Maker, you have a Cricut Explorer or a Cricut Joy, you won't be able to use the scoring wheel. So if the machine you selected is not a Cricut Maker, Design Space will probably prompt you instead to insert the scoring stylus. If it doesn't, you can go over to Edit Tools and select the scoring stylus right here and then press Apply. But I will be using the single scoring wheel today. If you don't have either of those tools, that's okay too. You can go back onto your canvas and just hide the scoring line layer and then you can just fold that piece over manually after your card has cut out. So let's go ahead and load our pen, our scoring wheel, and our mat. To take your card off the mat, we're going to flip our mat upside down and slowly peel the mat off our cardstock. So now we're going to take our Valentine's card and the backing and we're going to tape those together. I'm just going to use a tape runner here. And then you can grab these two tabs, fold them up. Our score line makes it very easy to fold. And you can grab a small paintbrush and stick it in. 
And our paint with water card is ready to hand out. Now, I think I do need to find some smaller paint brushes. I'm going to have to look again. This is the smallest one I could find, but I'm sure if I go check out a few more dollar stores, I'll be able to find the little tiny paint brushes. Now, when a child receives this, they're going to be able to take out this paintbrush, dip it in some water, and color this card. So let's go ahead and try it out. So I filled the cup here with some water. We're going to get it wet. And now we can go ahead and start painting. Now, if you wanna see some more projects that you can do with the Cricut watercolor markers, I've recently done a video on that. So go check it out. I'll leave it linked down below in the description. I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you're looking for more Valentine's ideas, go ahead and check out this playlist right here. And I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.